exciting. This is our very first time going live on YouTube and I'm so happy that you're here and my name is Miss Jess and I'm the person who started Guitars in the Classroom and who wakes up every morning and is lucky to work for Guitars in the Classroom bringing music to children around the country uh, in their classrooms and at home and we train teachers so if you're a teacher thank you for being in our program or finding out about our program. I have a little helper tonight and you might be guessing his name is Tiger and if you guessed that you'd be right. So Tiger is going to help me sing the first song tonight and it's called The Lion Sleeps Tonight. So if you happen to have something to play it might be a ukulele or a drum or a shaker all you need to do is pick it up and if you want to get your stuffy you forgot your stuffy go get your stuffy get your blanket and we're gonna have a great time tonight getting ready for bedtime. So for the lion sleeps tonight, we have to learn a beat. We call it the steady beat. And I'm going to use my square sound shape here to make the beat. I'm going to be playing some funny instruments tonight. And the beat sounds like this. Can you do that with me? We do this. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Can you see that lion sleeping? It's so calm in the jungle. So let's do that together. Here we go. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. And we say it again. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. That's right. And the next part has oh, the sound of a bird call. The bird says, Wim away, whim away. It sounds a little like the mocking birds that sing in the springtime. So try that with me. We're gonna say, whim away. And now we have to turn it into something that fits in the song like this. Whim away, 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 whim away. Whim away. That's it. If you can do that, you can sing this song. So I'm going to start on my guitar in the key of C, and if you're playing the ukulele, you can play in the key of C also with me. The song goes like this. Can you feel the bouncy beat? See if you can get some bouncing going. We sing in the jungle. Here we go. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Now let's stop and do that again from the beginning so you know exactly what to do. So now I'm going to pick it. That means I'm going to play one string at a time. A lot of African music has one string at a time. Here we go. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Now we'll say our whim away. Here we go. Whim away, whim away, whim away, whim away, whim away. person singing the song is a grown-up and they're singing it to a child who is trying to go to sleep and sometimes that child worries about the lion because the lion lives very close but the parent is singing to the child here you don't have anything to worry about because that lion is sleeping right now and that's what tonight's all about it's about relaxing and getting ready for bed so the second verse says Near the village, the quiet village, it's dark out in the village. The moon is out, the night birds are calling, and that's the only sound except for some crickets. There are no cars. Mm -mm. This is a quiet village. 
the lion sleeps tonight. And when we get to the last verse, the grown-up is saying to the child, and you can say it to yourself, or someone can say it to you, hush, my darling. Don't fear, my darling. The lion sleeps tonight. Hush, my darling. Don't fear, my darling. The lion sleeps tonight. So let's all close our eyes and we're going to imagine that beautiful, relaxed, sleeping lion all stretched out across the ground with its beautiful mane all soft and it's relaxed and it's sleeping and there's nothing to worry about. And so now we can sing the song as a lullaby because that is what it is. It's a happy lullaby. Here we go. Second verse. Near the village, the peaceful village, the lion sleeps tonight. Near the village, the quiet village, the lion sleeps tonight. Now we say whim away. Here we go. Whim away, whim away, whim away, whim away, whim away, whim away, whim away. Like the bird. Whim away, whim away, whim away, whim away, whim away, whim away. My darling, don't fear, my darling, the lion sleeps tonight. Hush, my darling, don't fear, my darling, the lion sleeps tonight. Let's sing it really quietly now. Whim away, whim away, whim away, whim away, whim away, whim away. Whim away, a little quieter, we don't want to wake up the lion. Whim away, whim away, whim away, whim away, whim away, whim away, whim away. Let's fade it out. Whim away, whim away, whim away, whim away, whim away. And we make the song disappear. Now that lion is going to sleep all the way through the night. So I hope you're cuddled up with something squishy. The squishy thing could be somebody you love, or it could be your favorite pillow. It could be your favorite chair. But just be really cozy. And we're going to sing another song together. And maybe at the end we'll sing Wim Away again, and this time we'll sing it to Tiger. Because I bet the tigers are sleeping too. Okay. Now, I bet I know a song everybody watching knows right now. Even if you're only two years old, I bet you know this song. And we're going to make some hand motions with it. And it's also a nighttime song because it's about something that you can only see at night. Can you guess what it is? I bet you can guess. We look up into the dark sky and we see light. The star is twinkling. Can you make your star twinkle with me? We're going to put our pointer fingers together. Let's put them together. And we're going to go, oh, feel the light. It's shining and it's shimmering. And we're going to sing to that little star. We're singing the star little lullaby. And it goes like this. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Now we're going to ask the question, how I wonder what you are. Now we're going to make that star go up above. Ready? Here we go. Really high. Up above the world so high. Can you make a diamond shape with your hand? I see you through my diamond. Do you see me? Like a diamond in the sky. It's got our star back. Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Should we do it again? Let's do it again. I'm going to pick up my ukulele this time. And maybe you're picking up an ukulele. Or maybe you're singing with your hands and your voice. I like the ukulele for this song because it's very high, like the star up in the sky. Here we go. There's our first little note. We're going to sing Twinkle right down there. Are you ready? Take a big breath. And let it go. We're going to 
to sing this. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Did you ever wonder what a star is? It's pretty interesting. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Let's do that again. song to twinkle with me. I'll tell you a secret if you're little. You might not know this, but when a grown-up sings you twinkle twinkle little star in their heart, you, you are the little star. You are that precious light. And they're singing this song to you, not just a star, but right into your beautiful heart light. You might be feeling a little bit sleepy and that's okay because you can close your eyes while you listen if you get too tired to sing. That's okay. And you know what? We're going to sing a song that lets you do things with your hands. So we're going to sing a song about putting things in our basket. And if there are teachers with me right now, you might have learned that song somewhere before we teach it at Guitars in the Classroom for learning how to say sounds. So if you're learning to say the sound, let's practice that right now. We're going to put our lips together and blow out, and we're going to say, p, p. It's just a little tiny sound. Pretend you're holding a dandelion and you're blowing all the little fluff off the top of the dandelion. You ready? Here we go. Take a breath and p, p. That is the sound of the letter P. P. And we're going to pick, pick. Can you say that? Pick. We're going to pick up a pawpaw. Now, a pawpaw is a piece of fruit and it looks a little bit tiny bit like a lemon so I'm gonna pick up my lemon here and I'm gonna call it a pawpaw I'm gonna pick up my pawpaw and I'm gonna put it in my basket can you pick up your pawpaw here we go we're gonna pick up a pawpaw and put it in our basket pick up a pawpaw put it in our basket pick up a pawpaw put it in our basket and then we're gonna say where we are and where we are is we're way down yonder in the pawpaw patch. So let's keep that to the beat now. I'm going to use my triangle drum here, my little triangle sound shape like this. Here we go. Pick up a pawpaw, put it in your basket. Pick up a pawpaw, put it in your basket. Pick up a pawpaw, put it in your basket. Way down yonder in the pawpaw patch. And this is a southern song, and it comes from the African-American tradition. And now we're going to play that together, but first we want to sing the melody. And I'm going to give my hands a higher place if we sing a higher note, or a lower place if we sing a lower note. So it's going to go like this. Pick up a papa, put it in your basket. Let's do that together. Here we go. Pick up a pawpaw, put it in your basket. Did you hear my voice going up? Up and higher and lower and lower. Let's do that together. Little bit higher and higher and lower and lower. Pick up a pawpaw, put it in your basket. Pick up a pawpaw, put it in your basket. Pick up a pawpaw, put it in your basket. 
Way down yonder in the paw paw patch. It's kind of fun to sing that. So now we're going to be picking up that paw paw, and then I'm going to ask each of you to find something special to pick up and put in your basket. Anything you want. All right, here we go. We're in the key of C if you have your ukulele. Goodness gracious. There we go. Now it's kind of in tune. One, two, and we sing like this. Pick up a paw paw, put it in your basket. Pick up a paw paw, put it in your basket. something around that you'd like to pick up right there in your room maybe it's a sock maybe you're going to pick up a sock and put it in your basket maybe it's a dish maybe it's a cup I have a cup do you have a cup and maybe you're going to take a drink of water because we all need drinks of water okay this time I'm going to say pick up a raccoon Gosh, that's really kind of a crazy thing to pick up, isn't it? Can you think of something that you want to pick up? Let's have you sing yours and I'll sing mine. Here we go. I'm going to sing Pick Up a Raccoon and you sing your thing. One, two, let's get going. Pick up a raccoon, put it in your basket. Pick up a raccoon and put it in your basket. Tell you what I would pick up my raccoon about like that because they have pretty sharp claws I'd pick up my raccoon and very carefully put him down in my basket what did you pick up can you show show somebody what you picked up and you put it in your basket now I'm gonna ask you a tricky question can you think of something you could pick up that's alive maybe it's a baby maybe you're gonna pick up a baby how would you pick up a baby would you pick up a baby like that? I hope not. You show how you pick up a baby. What's something alive that you'll pick up? Maybe you'll pick up a lizard. Now a lizard we want to carry very carefully so that its little tail doesn't fall off. Here we go. I'm going to sing lizard and you sing something else. Here we go. Pick up a lizard and put it in your basket. or a parent or a grandparent or an auntie or an uncle and you like that song it's a great one for learning those letter sounds and also getting very creative with words so I recommend that you sing that song a lot because whoever you sing it with is going to learn a lot of neat new sounds and words now we're going to move right along to a game now this game has to do with colors and there are a few ways that you can play it. It's a song that I wrote, and I call it Quien Tiene Rojo. So if you speak Spanish, you know I just asked a question, who is wearing red? 
Kien, that's whoever Tiene has red, rojo, and means look at your clothes. And if you have red, this is your verse. Now, I don't have red on, but I have rosa. I have rosa, so I've got that color, and I've got violeta, and I've got blanco. I've even got a little bit of negro. So I could do something when I call those colors, but you might have other colors on. So we're going to sing a lot of colors here. And if you have energy still and you're not feeling like you're ready for bed, this is a great time to dance. If you're sleepy and you want to cuddle up and you don't want to dance, but you want to stay where you are, you can make your fingers do the dancing. This is your floor. That's your dance floor. So you can put your hand out front. Good, that's your dance floor. Now we're gonna make two legs. And you don't have to have two legs to dance, you can dance with one leg. Did you know that? You don't need two legs to dance. People dance with one leg. People even dance if they don't have legs, they figure it out. People dance in wheelchairs. But I'm gonna make two legs right here just to demonstrate. So you can dance with your fingers. And if you can't dance with your fingers, you might dance with your elbow. You can find some way to dance. You could even flap your arms. Okay, so we're going to do this. Bye, lay, bye, lay, bye, lay. My legs are dancing here. Baile is to dance in Spanish. So we go like this. Quien tiene rojo, rojo, rojo. Quien tiene rojo, baile. And if you've got red, you can get up and dance or make your dance floor. And then we'll sing another color. Quien tiene blanco. Now you look at your clothes. Are you wearing white? If you're wearing white, if you're wearing blanco, this is your turn to get up and dance. You might have white socks or white underwear on. Those are your secret clothes. Okay, so look for your secret white clothes. You have white teeth. You could dance. You have white in your eyes. Okay, here we go. Quien tiene blanco, 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 quien tiene blanco, baile, 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 baile. Now we say, siéntate, sit back down. So in English, our song goes like this. Somebody said green. I felt it. Who are you wearing green? Somebody there is wearing green. Here we go. Quien tiene verde, verde, verde. Quien tiene verde, baile. Baile, baile, baile. Baile, baile. Quien tiene baile. Oh. Quien tiene baile? I am so silly. Quien tiene verde? Siéntate. If you're wearing green, 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 if you're wearing green, you may dance. And if you're wearing white, 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 if you're wearing white, you may dance. Yellow, if you're wearing yellow, 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 if you're wearing yellow, you may dance. Blue, if you're wearing blue, 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 if you're wearing Somebody's wearing gray. Shall we sing that? We're going to sing Quien tiene gris. Quien tiene gris, gris, gris. If you're wearing gray, you may dance. Baile, 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 baile. Siéntate. This will be our last one. We're going to sing purple. Somebody might have some purple. And if it's pink, that's okay too. If you're wearing purple or pink or purple, if you're wearing purple, you may dance. Dance and dance and dance, 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 dance and dance and dance. Now sit back down. Good job.
job, my friends. Give yourselves a little round of applause. Round of applause. That's a fun song. That's a really good one if you need to get tired out. I'll tell you. Okay, let's see now. Uh, we haven't sung a very old song yet called You Are My Sunshine. You Are My Sunshine. You Are My Sunshine. But we're singing at night. So should we be singing about sunshine at night? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we want to be singing about starlight. We started with starlight, and now we're going to go back to starlight. So let's sing You Are My Starlight, my precious starlight. And out comes my big six-string guitar. Mm -hmm. Let's just hum this now, and then we'll sing some words. Right now we're going to sing hmm or la. Let's start with la. La, 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 la. You are my starlight, my precious starlight. Make me happy when skies are dark. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Watch you all night long. Now that old song can be changed to sing to somebody that we love. And so I want to show you somebody that I love. my cuddle kitty so I want to sing to my kitty do you have somebody you want to sing to I bet you do can you look around and see if you have somebody you want to sing to maybe it's a person or maybe it's an imaginary friend somebody you talk to other people don't see them but you know they're there right those friends are important too or maybe it's your stuffy. So we're going to sing to our somebody specials, and I'll show you how we do that. You are my kitty, my fluffy kitty. You make me happy when skies are gray. I'm here to tell you how much I love you. to sing to my friend Whaley. Is there somebody else you want to sing to? You can sing to your same friend again or somebody else. I'm going to sing to Whaley. You are my Whaley, my swimmy Whaley. You make me happy when eyes are gray. I'm here to tell you how much I love you. More and more every day. Here we go. <laughs> are my whaley, my swimmy whaley. You make me happy when skies are gray. I'm here to tell you how much I love you. More and more each day. More and more each day. Let's sing to somebody in our family. Now the question is, what language do you want to sing in? We could sing in Spanish to Grandma. We could sing, You're my abuela, my sweet abuela. We could sing in Hebrew, You are my ima, my sweet ima. And we could sing in English, You are my, what do you call your grandma? Some people call grandma nana. Someone calls them mima. If you're in North Carolina, you might call your grandma Mima. I have a good friend named Joan, and her granddaughter calls her Gigi. 
so you sing to your grandma with your words. You are my grandma, my sweet grandma. You make me happy when the skies are gray. I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you how much I love you. How much I love you. Grandpa, he went to heaven a long time ago, but I still feel like he's with me sometimes. You are my grandpa, my sweet grandpa. You make me happy when skies are gray. I'm here to tell you how much I love you, how much I love you, more and more, more and more. Each day, more and more each day. Let's do it again. More and more each day. Last time, let's slow it down. More and more each day. Thank you for singing that song with me. I bet you, you have some very sweet and special people in your life. And that's a nice song to remember. You know, it's also good for special occasions like birthdays and remembering people on special holidays. It's a nice song. All right. Well, I wish we could talk to each other about all of this, but we don't have the chat stream open right now because we want to make sure that nobody comes in that isn't a kid or a nice grown-up. So we don't have the chat open. But you can always send me a message at info at guitarsintheclassroom.org and it's right there underneath my name and the words Guitars in the Classroom. So if you'd like to request something else for the next bedtime PJ party, you can send me a song you would like to play. That would be terrific. We have so many good songs left. I'd like to share one I've always loved. I learned it from a, a man named Thomas Moore and it goes like this. We're asking a question. Is there room in the boat for you? Is there room in the boat for you? Is there room in the boat for you? And then we sing the word hallelujah. So let's try that. We're going to say, is there room in the boat for you? Is there room in the boat for you? Is there room in the boat for you? Hallelujah. And then we say, yes, there's room in the boat. Yes, there's room in the boat for you. And there's room in the boat for you, and there's room in the boat for you. Hallelujah. So the beat is like this. I'm going to pick up a different drum now, a round drum that we call a frame drum. Many cultures have frame drums, but the nicest ones come from First Nation people, tribal people, who make their own out of skins and wood and sometimes some hide. And this is a very modern one. It goes like this. Hear it ringing? It kind of echoes. I'm going to only hit it with one finger so it's not too loud. And it's going to go like this. Is there room in the boat for you? Is there room in the boat for you? Is there room in the boat for you? Hallelujah. Yes, there's room in the boat for you, and there's room in the boat for you, and there's room in the boat for you. Hallelujah. Isn't that nice? I can make that fun sound on my drum with my fingernails. Drums are so much fun. You know, you can make a drum, you can make a drum at home. If you like oatmeal, it's easier because all you have to do is save the tub. If you save the tub, you've got a built-in drum right there. And you can make all kinds of little sounds on your oatmeal drum. You can make it out of all sorts of kinds of tubes, too. Okay, so we're going to ask the question and we're going to sing it this time. Let's see. I'm going to go back to my guitar. These are all very calm songs because we want to unwind. And I imagine if you're not a little person, you might be unwinding 
in your own special way right now. And I hope you're having a great time. <laughs> for you is there room in the boat for you is there room in the boat for you hallelujah yes there's room in the boat for you and there's room in the boat for you and there is room in the boat for you hallelujah Is there room in the boat for Jack? Is there room in the boat for Jill? Is there room in the boat for Susan? Hallelujah! Yes, there's room in the boat for Jack And there's room in the boat for Jill And there's room in the boat for... Say your own name there. Hallelujah! Now, this time when I sing it, you can sing the name of someone that you know. Is there room in the boat for? Is there room in the boat for? Is there room in the boat for? Yes, there's room in the boat for. And there's room in the boat for. a best friend and that best friend is called Michael Row Your Boat Ashore and that's the song that was very popular when I was a little girl and it goes like this Michael Row Your Boat Ashore Hallelujah Michael Row Your Boat Ashore Hallelujah Now if you are little and you are sitting in somebody's lap which is a very good place to row a boat. You can grab the oars. Every rowboat has oars. If it doesn't, it can't go very far. So we're going to grab those oars with our hands and we're going to row that boat to the song. Can you row your boat with me? We're going to count it. One, two, three, four. This is a great arm exercise, by the way. Three, four. Good, okay. So, this has many verses. Here we go. Michael, row the boat ashore, and then we're going to sing about sister helping to trim the sail. Michael, row the boat ashore. Hallelujah. Michael, row the boat ashore. Hallelujah. Sister, help to trim the sail, hallelujah. Sister, help to trim the sail, hallelujah. Michael, row the boat ashore, hallelujah. Michael, row the boat ashore, hallelujah. Now we're going to sing about the River Jordan and sing. The River Jordan is deep and wide. So we're going to make deep and wide. Hallelujah. There's milk and honey on the other side. Doesn't that sound good? Oh my goodness. We've got to get to the other side of that River Jordan. Here we go. The River Jordan is deep and wide. Hallelujah. Milk and honey on the other side, hallelujah. Let's do that again. The river Jordan is deep and wide, hallelujah. Milk and honey on the other side, hallelujah. Is there room in the boat for you? Is there Yes, 
there's room in the boat for you And there's room in the boat for you And there's room in the boat for all of us Hallelujah There is room in the boat for all of us all of us can play none of us should ever be left out if we're being very very rude we might need to take a quick time out rethink it but then we need to be able to come back and not stay out for very long at all we all belong in that boat doesn't matter who you are where you come from what you look like how tall you are what you eat for dinner you get a place in the boat too we all need to be in that boat and if we're all in the boat together, we can all row, and we're going to get a lot farther that way. Well, I'm thinking it's getting pretty close to bedtime, and there's a song about a grandma wearing pajamas I was thinking we should do. It's got some hand motions to it. It's another old song. And Grandma, she's very old-fashioned, and she lives in a place where she doesn't drive a car. Most grandmas these days in America either drive a car or take a bus or they ride a bicycle but this grandma's not doing that and she's not even walking you know what she's doing i'll give you a hint watch this what on earth is grandma doing she's bouncing isn't she can you bounce with me we're going to pick up the reins we're going to hold these reins and reins are what tell horses which way to go so grandma is up in a wagon not a little red wagon a great big wooden wagon and she has great big wagon wheels on her wagon and her wagon is being pulled by can you guess what i'll give you a hint can you do that yep it's being pulled by dinosaurs no it's not being pulled by dinosaurs dinosaurs don't pull wagons it's being pulled by Monkeys! Come on, Miss Jess. Monkeys do not pull wagons. We know that. You're just being silly. You're right. I'm being silly because it's fun to be silly. Nope. You guessed right the first time it was horses. So she's driving six white horses when she comes. She's going to be driving those horses every time she comes for a visit. Imagine if Grandma came to your house for a visit driving six white horses. What would you do? Well, back in the old-fashioned days, there were some grandmas that did that, and they were pretty good at driving those horses. All you have to do for this one is see do 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 do. Okay, let's do that together. Grandma is not just coming from down the block. Nope. And she's not getting in an airplane and flying here from far away. She's coming around the mountain. So will you say that with me? She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. See her? She's up in that wagon. What's she doing? She'll be driving six white horses. Can you say that? Six white horses. It's a lot of work to say that. She'll be driving six white horses when she comes. She'll be driving six white horses when she comes. She'll be driving six white horses. Driving six white horses. She'll be driving six white horses when she comes. What are you going to do? You're going to sit around in the living room and wait for her to ring the doorbell? No way! You're going to go out there and see your grandma. So we're going to sing, we'll all go out to meet her. And everybody's going to run to the front door and open the door and run outside and say, hey, grandma! 
We'll all go out to meet her when she comes. We'll all go out to meet her when she comes. We'll all go out to meet her. We'll all go out to meet her. We'll all go out to meet her when she comes. Now, Grandma, she has brought something special in her wagon. She has brought Sunday dinner in her wagon. She cooked it all the way at home and drove it all the way there in her wagon. And it's a big covered dish full of chicken and dumplings. If you've never had a dumpling before, you should ask your grown-ups to feed you a dumpling. They're very good. It's a little like macaroni and cheese. Just a little. Okay, here we go. We'll all have chicken and dumplings when she comes. We'll all have chicken and dumplings when she comes. We'll all have chicken and dumplings. We'll all have chicken and dumplings. We'll all have chicken and dumplings when she comes. Now, here's the part about the pajamas. Now, you know, a lot of people don't have very much room where they live. Sometimes places where we live are really small. I lived in a very, very small place for a long time. Small places can be nice. But when Grandma comes to visit, where is she going to sleep? There's no extra bed. Mm -mm. Nope, no extra bedroom. There isn't even a backyard for a tent. Nope. Even if there was a backyard, there's no tent. Where are we going to put Grandma? Is she going to sleep in the bathtub? I hope not. It's not very comfortable to sleep in a bathtub. She's certainly not going to sleep on the floor. She'll wake up in the morning with a terrible backache. I think she's going to have to share your bed. That's right. You're going to have to share your bed with Grandma. And she's going to be wearing something funny. You know what? She's going to be wearing a great big onesie, even though she's a grown-up, and her onesie is red. It's red. She'll be wearing red pajamas when she comes. These are very itchy pajamas. So you know what Grandma does all night? She says, scritch, scratch. Can you make a scritch, scratch on your red jammies? Yeah. We're going to say that too. She'll be wearing red pajamas when she comes. Scritch, scratch. Wearing red pajamas when she comes. Scritch, scratch. Wearing red pajamas. That's my special grandma. Wearing red pajamas when she comes, scritch, scratch. And we'll have to sleep with grandma when she comes. Can you snore? Can you do that? It's a little tricky. You have to breathe in through your nose with your mouth open. We'll have to sleep with grandma when she comes. We'll have to sleep with grandma. We'll have to sleep with grandma. We'll have to sleep with Grandma when she comes. Hmm. Well, even though we have to sleep with Grandma, we still love her a lot. When we wake up in the morning, we're going to all have pancakes. In fact, they're going to be apple pancakes. Oh, yum! We'll all have apple pancakes when she comes. Yum, yum! We'll all have apple pancakes when she comes. We'll all have pa apple pancakes. We'll all have apple pancakes. We'll all have apple pancakes when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. We're going to give that a little yee-haw. If you want to say yee-haw with me, we're cheering those horses along while they're bringing us Grandma. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Yee-haw. She'll be coming around the mountain. exciting to get that visit from Grandma. I wonder what she did with the horses overnight. I hope they had some place for the horses to go to sleep. Everybody needs to sleep. All the animals have to sleep. Oh my goodness. How would you put your animals to sleep? I think I would count the animals and that might make them very, very sleepy. Would you do that with me? We're going to count them. We're going to sing to all the animals that are going to sleep. 
They're getting all tucked into their special places. Some of them are in nests. My favorite little bird is a black Phoebe. And I think right now my black Phoebe, she's in her nest and her head is buried under her wing and she's sleeping. And so I'm gonna to sing to my little birdie and I'm gonna sing like this. One little, two little, three little birdies, four little, five little, six little birdies, seven little, eight little, nine little birdies, birdies gone to sleep. Have you seen a bunny in somebody's yard before? Can we make our bunnies go to sleep? They're gonna go down into their warren, their warren, so they're gonna hop along and go into their warren. One little, two little, three little bunnies, four little, five little, six little bunnies, seven little, eight little, nine little bunnies, fast asleep in their rabbit hole. Who else might go to sleep? I think Tigger's getting ready to go to sleep. Tigger, you're going to close your eyes really soon. Here we go. One little, two little, three little Tigger. Four little, five little, six little Tigger. Seven little, eight little, nine little Tigger. Ten little Tiggers fast asleep. Nighty night, Tigger. Hush, little person. Are you a baby? I bet you're not a baby. I'm going to sing Hush Someone Special. And that way, I'm singing to you because you're special and you were here with me tonight. Here we go for our last song of the night. Hush, special someone, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. And if that mockingbird don't sing, Mama's gonna buy you a diamond ring. And if that diamond ring turns brass, Papa's gonna buy you a looking glass. And if that looking glass gets Papa's gonna buy you a billy goat And if that billy goat won't pull Papa's gonna buy you a card and pull And if that card and pull fall over Mama's gonna get you a dog named Rover And if that dog named Rover won't bark my dog. Come on, Rover. Papa's gonna buy you a horse and cart. And if that horse and cart fall down, you'll still be the sweetest little someone in town. So now my special friend, the one who's sleeping at my feet, is gonna come up to help me sing goodnight to you. And then we're gonna go rolling off to bed. Come on up here, Homer. Everybody, this is my best friend, Homer. Homer's not a stuffy, nope. He's a real dog and he loves music so much. Don't you, Homer? Do you love music so much? Can we sing a little song? We're gonna sing about rags. I have a dog and his name is Rex. When he eats too much, his tummy sags. His ears flip flop and his tail wig wags. And when he walks, he zigs and zags. Flip flop, wiggle waggle, whoop, zig zag. Flip flop, wiggle waggle, whoop, zig zag. Good night, Homer. Good night, Homer. Good night, Homer. It's time to go to sleep. I love you too, Homer. Yes, I do. Good night, friends. Good night, friends. Good night, friends. It's time to go to sleep. 
Get your glass of water and put it by the bed. Get your glass of water and put it by the bed. Go brush your teeth because it's time to go to sleep. Go brush your teeth because it's time to go to sleep. Brush, brush, brush. Get your water. Get your blankie and your stuffy. And I wish you a wonderful, cozy good night with sweet dreams. And know that you are appreciated and loved. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. We'll have another bedtime pajama party again very soon. Thank you for being here. And please write me a little message if you want to say hi. There's the web address right at the bottom of the screen.